Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman and Lucy Lehman and today I want to answer a question a lot of Flower Tribe members have asked in comments on YouTube and on Instagram and the question is should I prune my endless summer hydrangeas in fall? And uh, the answer to that question is most likely no, but I want to tell you why. If we haven't met yet, it's nice to meet you. My name is Kelly Lehman. I'm the owner of Cranberry Fields Flower Farm here in Cranberry, New Jersey. And I love giving you guys fun, free flower tips. So please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so you know whenever we post another fun, free flower tip video. So let's dive right in, guys. So here it is fall, and I'm in my New Jersey garden where a zone 6B hardiness zone. I know a lot of you have asked me that too. So we're 6B and let's take a walk over to my endless summer hydrangeas and I want to show you what's the what with pruning them back in fall so let's take a walk over there come on Lou let's go here's the story guys first of all they look kind of beat up they've got a lot of brown spots and they're kind of yellowing so don't worry too much about that because this plant is going dormant and a lot of these brown spots that you see on the leaves were caused by some uh, overnight rain that's been happening and then really cold temperatures so sometimes that late rain and then cooler temperatures causes this i'm not too worried about this on this plant because this plant is going to go dormant soon and um, it's going to lose its leaves and it's going to be fine next year so don't worry too much about that so take a look at some of these branches a lot of the blooms that are going to come in next summer are being put in place now so this is called the old wood from this hydrangea plant and these little tiny buds are being put in place already and each of these buds is supposed to form a bloom for next summer. Now, if I came in here and I pruned back all of these branches, I'd be cutting off all of these flowers that should come in in spring. So that's the reason why I'm not going to prune back my endless summer hydrangea because a lot of the blooms come in on old wood. Uh, endless summer is terrific though because it has two sets of blooms so the first set of blooms usually comes in in the beginning of summer and that comes in on the old wood but then it has a second burst of blooms that comes in on what's called new growth and that new growth is going to come from the center of the plant and it's going to come in it's going to you're going to start seeing these beautiful green stems are going to start coming in in like the beginning of summer the end of summer and once those stems get larger they're going to have flower heads on them that are going to bloom in late summer so you're going to have two sets of blooms so here's the thing if you uh, don't care too much about having two sets of blooms you can always wind up cutting back the old wood and you might actually give your hydrangea like a recharge and then you're probably going to have larger flower heads on those new growth blooms in the summer so um so you could do that but i would hold off and not do that in fall if you do decide to do that i would wait until the plant goes totally dormant and wait until late winter or early spring to do that so i would not prune this back in fall because you don't want to trigger any kind of extra new growth cycle so you don't want to do that because it's going to wind up getting frozen off in winter and it's not good for the plant so if for some reason you do want to wind up doing the pruning wait until late winter or early spring but your best bet is not to prune back your endless summer hydrangea at all anytime after august because those new buds are being put in place some people like to give it like a tidying up or a little bit of a pruning right after those blooms are in place like the end of july early august and then if you wanted to cut the plant back a bit then that would have been the best time to kind of prune it back because these new buds weren't quite on those old wood stems yet that are going to be there for next year so that's the story with endless summer hydrangea thank you so much for joining us in this video and please feel free to subscribe to this channel for more fun free garden tips and please let me know where you're viewing this from in this great big beautiful world i love to see how our flower tribe is growing around the globe each week and please keep those flower questions and your flower tips coming in comments below you guys have such a wealth of knowledge and it's so nice learning from you come say hi to us over on our instagram page which is on the cranberry fields page and we're also on facebook and pinterest so come say hi to us over there and i'm also going to put a link to our patreon page below in case you're interested in becoming a supporter of this youtube channel and i will see you in the next video